From cars to skyscrapers, Dubai definitely lives up to its nickname as the City of Gold. Dubai's gold souk dates back to the 1900s and is one of the largest retail gold markets in the world. Despite demand having reportedly dropped for gold jewelry in the UAE, the emirate has cornered approximately 25% of global trade in gold. But there's one place in the city where the taste for gold is on another level, the 27th, to be exact. So 27 mean we're on the 27th floor. This is the Gold on 27 bar in the iconic Burj Al Arab Hotel. And this is senior mixologist Sotira Fernando. He works with so much gold, it's no surprise some of it rubs off on him. When I go home, I'm full of gold dust and gold elements. Basically, my friends say that, you know, I glow at night. There are many golden delicacies to try. We have 24 karat gold powder, so this is real gold, gold liquid, and then we do gold chocolates, then we have a gold pepper grinder, and we have the ultimate gold cappuccino in Sanida as well. Sudhir and his team are constantly looking for new ways to use this precious material. So yeah, every week I have to come up with new golden ideas. Their signature drink is the Element 79 which gets its name from gold's atomic number. It consists of three non-alcoholic bitters, sparkling juice, 24 karat gold liquid, and is finished off with a cube of sugar. That sure looks good. So it must taste great too, right? To be honest, the gold doesn't really add a taste to a drink. It's just more of an emotional uh, feeling. Well, despite this, people are still willing to shell out a lot for that feeling. This drink costs around $40. Serving up to 700 grams of gold each year, the Burj Al Arab is certainly helping uphold Dubai's reputation as the city of gold.